Okay, greetings everyone, this is First in 2753, the next episode of Geopolitical Simulator Power and Revolution. Uh, all roads lead to Delhi, playing as India. Uh, we've begun moving our military forces closer to Sri Lanka, uh, of, after evidence has been revealed uh, by our spy network that Sri Lanka uh, has done some shady things with China. We have proof... Wow, we have proof of China giving financial aid to terrorists and supplying weapons to terrorists. But the problem is with China is we can't get a UN agreement against them because they are on the Security Council. Um, we could condemn them, but I don't know if that would do anything to improve relations. I think the best thing I could use here might be a bribe maybe or something like that. I don't know. Um, I'll come back to that later. Uh, what I'm more concerned with, or more interested in, is this Sri Lankan evidence of financially aiding terrorists. Um, so I'm going to use that to my advantage, I think, by going to the UN and uh, condemning them in the UN. Ask the Security Council to authorize military intervention against the country. Let's start by providing proof that there is uh, that Sri Lanka has done some bad things. Let's go ahead. Article 24 of the UN Charter, UN Security Council is supposed to be informed of poor behavior by member states as it assumes the principal responsibility for maintaining international security and peace. Let them know what has happened. And uh, we're going to go before the UN and Denounce Sri Lanka, which will justify our movements in the in the ocean. We are also moving our satellites over Sri Lanka as well, give us good reconnaissance. All that is coming in um, is coming in here. Um, another other things to address this uh, episode. I, gonna, I think I'm going to label it the uh, expansion of the welfare state or something like that. Um, and we're going to look at India as a whole here. A number of my viewers have been making suggestions about what to do um, with the country, and people sort of want me to spend more money. It seems like Noah Lay has suggested that I increase healthcare funding. Let's take a look at healthcare. All right, we take a look at the healthcare sector here. First of all, let me go over the uh, economy real quick so you know where we stand economically. That's always a fun one. Uh, $3.4 trillion. We are one of the best countries in the world when it comes to... Well, we're second when it comes to population. But when it comes to GDP, we are fifth. We are approaching Germany. We can definitely surpass Germany sometime soon, I think, if we continue to grow. We are growing at 9.7% rate per year. An unemployment rate of... Uh, 3.9, but an inflation rate of pretty high, 9.5. Um, so we're going to have to do stuff about that, too. And our interest rates are maxed out at this point, so there's not much more I can do with that. I do want to continue to grow the economy. I think the only thing I can really do is try to get trade deals. I'm not sure if that's how, how that affects it. I mean, it should lower the prices of things if I negotiate low prices. Um, so I assume that has an impact. Uh, let's see. There was a famine too, but I think I resolved most of the famine. Hopefully that's resolved, because I think I negotiated a lot of trade deals in the last two episodes to sort of fill in all our food shortages. Uh, economically though, we should also look at taxes here. Uh, here's the nice number here, $51 billion excess. Of course, I do want to pay down the uh, $1.2 trillion worth of debt. And by paying down, let's take a look at the budget. By paying down debt, and this debt reimbursement number right here, which is in millions, so that's $29 million of debt reimbursement, that gets reduced as we continue to pay down the debt, therefore uh, expanding the budget. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and accommodate uh, viewers and subscribers, and we're going to go ahead and look at what's, what some of these suggestions are. Uh, Noah Lay said that uh, there is an abysmal number here, right here. Population per hospital bed. We only have one bed for every 1,300 people. 
that's not really a good situation. So, and there's only one doctor for every 2,000 people. That's probably even worse. Um, his recommendations are to increase healthcare funding by one star in each category just to help out with living condition and hospital bed situation. Over 1,300. That's horrible. So here's what I'm going to do. Let's take a look at what this would do, actually. If I did one star per category, these two categories are the biggest. Uh, and then this one, reimbursement for prescription, visits to the doctor, and hospital treatment. These are all pretty big categories. $12.5 billion. Now, let's go to the rest of them, though. One, cover for, coverage for work accidents. Coverage for maternity leave. These are not very expensive. Hygiene. Maintenance of establishment. That's kind of important. Uh, modernization of medical equipment. That didn't even budge. Um, occupational medicine. Boom. Maternity. Boom. These are not really bringing in the biggest emergency departments. Still didn't even budge that one. Oh, budged a little bit. Uh, psychiatric departments. There could be some crazy people. Uh, geriatrics. That would accommodate the elderly who would love me already. I think service to handicap. Vaccinations, that's probably family. AIDS fighting. Fighting cancer and fighting genetic diseases. Now, a lot of those categories, can, if we just take off these two, it only costs us $2.3 billion. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Because there are a few other things I want to do this episode. But we're going to go ahead and uh, take out two... Increase our uh, healthcare spending by 2.3 billion. I also want to build more hospitals. Uh, and I counted before, there's 31 regions. So we'll distribute it over the whole territory and we'll do, I guess, two per region. We need 62 hospitals, that's $7.8 billion. So that's about $10 billion we're increasing to budget spending. That's about 20% uh, of our surplus. Uh, manpower is 450, so this will create jobs. Uh, there's a lot of available manpower. Manpower. Okay, let's just go ahead and fire that off. Very good. All right, so hopefully that'll help solve uh, the education system uh, or the healthcare system. Uh, Jermaine Oots is another um, subscriber from Argentina. Hello, Argentina. Uh, I will try to get some more trade deals with Argentina eventually. I'm gonna look into that eventually. I think. South Africa, or not South Africa, South America has a lot of resources. This is a resource-rich continent. And there's a lot of land, a lot of resources to exploit here. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and buy some stuff from you guys, particularly Argentina and Brazil, who seem to be my biggest fans. So I guess they're going to be my two biggest trading partners out there in South America. Uh, we'll continue to do stuff, but first I'm going to focus on uh, what you suggested about uh, expanding the welfare state, uh, increasing... Minimum wage, slowly. Slowly increasing minimum wage, which I think I already did one episode. Um, well, I guess if I already did it, I probably shouldn't do it again. You know what? I'm going to come back to you. Remind me, maybe in a year, we'll increase minimum wage again. I don't remember if you saw... Maybe this comment might have been before I had done it, because I, I think I did raise minimum wage uh, earlier. So go ahead and feel free to comment back and respond there. Let me know what the situation is with that. I'm going to go into housing, which was another area you suggested. And in housing, we've got a lot of dilapidated houses. Let's go ahead and solve some of these. This is, uh, if I go for 10,000, that's 632 million. 100,000 is 6 billion. That's a lot. I'm going to try to do uh, 50 billion, I think. We'll do 50 billion houses. 50,000 houses, excuse me. 50,000 houses, five, 500 to, man, let's see. Oh, that's too much. Yeah, 500,000 uh, manpower to allocate. 50,000 houses. Confirm that. Uh, we got a long way to go. Um, we'll have to try to do that at least once a year, I guess. Keep reminding me about that. Um... And then, uh, I think you were talking about public service? Is that what you mentioned? I'm going to go ahead and up everybody's salary here. Keep track with inflation. Wait a minute, did I do that with everybody? Yeah, I did. Boom, boom. Researchers are getting paid a lot. That's good. I want researchers to get paid a lot. Because I want them to uh, discover new technologies. And I need the space race to continue. That's only $2.6 So we're keeping it low. 
So I think, uh, what is that, 3 million for the houses, 2.6 for the uh, public service, and hospital, I think I'm about 15, 16 billion. Let's take a look at education, because this was pointed out earlier, and I mentioned this in a previous episode. If you look at population, look at that. Look at how many kids there are. A lot of young kids there. So there had been a couple announcements, uh, comments here, that the whole secondary school situation was uh, an issue. Let's go into education. Where's education? There you are. Education. All right. Uh, what do we have here? Students per teacher. We've got 35. 35. That's a lot. That's a big classroom. I'm a teacher. 35 is a lot to manage. 26 is a lot to manage. Forget about it. Um, for an average. Um, primary school attendance rate is at 90%. So what I want to do is build some more secondary primary education schools. Secondary is elementary schools for those of you in the United States. Let's do the same thing. We'll do 62 per region. You know what? It's not even a billion dollars. Let's do that. All right, so that's five new elementary schools in each region. Okay, and then I'm gonna build like one new secondary school in each region, and I'll, then I'll do some colleges later on. Available manpower allocating thirty-four thousand two point seven billion two point seven million available. I like that move. And uh, 155 new schools means we'll need new teachers. Uh, 155. Probably want at least, I want to say, elementary schools. 50 teachers per elementary school. So that means that. 155, we're need 15,000. I guess 8,000. 8,000 new teachers. I don't know if I did the math right on that. That'll be 45 million. That's not really a lot of money at all. Let's just make it a. Let's make this a cool. 8.7. Wait. 8.7 million teachers. Sounds good to me. Boom. And let's go into the budget and let's give them each a star. Now that's the big one. Where is that? Renewal and maintenance. Shave that off, and you save a ton. Let's do that. Confirm that. I probably need renewal and maintenance. That's probably one of the biggest issues. Technical training, agricultural training, science training. Yes. Whoa. Okay. We want scientific training, because we're going for the space race. Fire that sucker off. Okay. That's our educational spending. That's our welfare state expansion, and that is our health care. And we just went to the UN, and I haven't even started the, t the clock yet, so let's get rolling. All right, evidence sufficient for sanctions. Beautiful. Does that mean we're placing sanctions, or is the UN just placing sanctions? Can we authorize... Here we go. India accuses Sri Lanka. We have irrefutable evidence that this country is violating international conventions. This <clears throat> evidence should lead you to consider thoughtfully. What shall we do? Should we close our eyes or should we reaffirm the rule of law? Hmm. I wonder if they will let me authorize me to use military force. Hmm. Let's wait a week. Let's get through a week here. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Alright, this was liberating movement. Everybody loves me. Everybody. Everybody loves me. Boost. Taking humanitarian issues seriously. Commitment is most sincere. The poorest are pleased. Greater funding. Education is suffering from clear lack of material and equipment. Attend I just made... What? Come on, I just spent all that money. Yikes. <clears throat> We're going to have to increase education spending a lot. What does that do to our... Oh my god. Riots? Something just... There was a noise. Anticipate tension. Buddhist leader. Prime Minister, the current state policy does not offer us necessary guarantees freedom and safety. How big is this group? Whoa, 14 million, huh? Uh, we need a strong single signal to reassure, prevent harmful case. All right, I think I can probably make a public statement there. What is going on here? Riots again? Yo, yo, slow down. Where did they all go? Our agent's assessment is that there is a definite risk of... Yeah, okay. Uh, order of New Humanist. Whoa. Okay. Let's arrest some people. Target. No, I don't want that other guy. The guy with the bat. Um... Get him. Alright. Our police are much better than they were in the past. I don't even need to bring in reinforcements, I don't think. I don't know if that matters. Our police are great. We got this thing wrapped up. Yeah, a little, a little increased spending in the security before earlier on in this uh, series really solved that issue. That was a great suggestion. I we forgot who made it. The rebel Sorry. Movement. It's in the comments somewhere. Okay, so riots are over. Did we get through the week? I don't remember. $44 billion. We still have $44 billion surplus after all that spending. I wonder if I should spend more on education. I think I want to... Military needs more recruitment. I think I want to... Uh... Oh, Our nice. We want these guys, too. Me that it has... It's time almost to go to war, I think. Yeah, our fleets are in position. Alright, first things first was the... Buddhist... Religion... Publicly congratulate the Buddhist. Alright, so maybe they'll like me then. Famine fight, come on, man! So far you have son. I need... Pause this, I want to make sure I read this right. All right, Prime Minister, so far you have assigned 9.19 billion to reduce the extent and the impact of the catastrophe. As of today, according to the latest report I have just received, water and food requirements have risen. There's 9.1, 9.3. Why don't I just give them a whole billion? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to give them 50 million. No. I don't think any more than that. 500 million. 500 million dollars. Boom. Knock this out. Our infiltrated agent was... And why? We've begun restoring emergency reserves through setting up cereal... Through the setting up of cereal and rice stores outside Delhi, which remains very sensitive zones. Stocks are slowly being rebuilt. Good. That's a good sign. Our infiltrated agent is on site. Somalian cell operational. Oh! Our governmental cell informs me that it has had the opportunity to... Pakistan, sure. Let's get dirt on them. Now, Somalia. What happened to Somalia? I don't see Putland. The, oh, there's Putland. Good. All right, we want to support these Putland tr uh, forces. Also, Armenia has had a nuclear disaster. Lots of victims. Uh, I'm going to send aid to them. Uh, but I do want to support Putland here. Let me go into my Secret Service. I may need to hire more Secret Service agents. Manage networks. <clears throat> We've only got eight new ones. i got to hire more agents. Um, Somalia. we got 25. 
Let's up it to 30, and they're approaching terrorist groups. Confirm that. Let's go ahead and hire some new international agents. Uh, let's give me 100. No. 300. 5 million, no problem. Let's add uh, industrial espionage, military intelligence, counterintelligence. That's 100 million. Boom! Spending a lot in this episode. Lots of spending this episode. All this per. Oh no! She was the one of the biggest supporters of me. Armenia. Well, let's check a look at the foreign aid. Aids. Armenia is one of those countries that we do want to give. Whoa! What happened here? The bill has been voted on. Tourist visas. And the law has been passed. That passed. I thought I already passed that bill. We are awaiting your. Maybe that. I'm hoping that contains the, the terrorist threat, as well the as restricts. Put some restrictions on immigration. I don't think immigration was too the big of a problem. There seems to be a lot of rioting here. Not for long, suckers. We're gonna knock you out. I got best cops in the subcontinent. <laughs> and why is India subcontinent? That's always an argument. Supposedly, it is bigger than Europe with more people. Depending on, I guess, where you measure it. Yet, India is a subcontinent. Get that guy. Come on, we didn't arrest them. I might need reinforcements. Arrest them. Good. Funeral for the lady. I can't click it. Okay. They're just attacking the barricades here. I want you to get the guy. Arrest the guy. Click on him. Why oh, are you not working, mouse? Okay. Oh, that's frustrating. Come on. I hate the city. And I never get down and close either. This is where the good graphics are. Did we get everybody? There's one person there. Get him. Arrest him. There he is. Okay. <clears throat> that should solve. We have subdued the rebel movement. End of the uprising. Armed forces are with Your me. Politics are on the right track. At last. Housing sector is not doing well, but nevertheless, essential factor is well-being of population. Let's give everyone in the country a chance to have a decent roof over their heads. Let's build, renew, and subsidize. Hmm, I may have to subsidize. I didn't subsidize. Famine results. Final figures. 78,000 dead. Two. 22 million people still under the threshold for normal nutrition. Scarcity risks are ruled out, but malnutrition is still present. Big poverty with a satisfactory level. No one dies of cold or hunger. It's only on our country. All right, so there's definitely some infrastructure problems. Uh, well, maybe not infrastructure problems. Basic needs problems that still exist in India. Um, did spend a good amount of money this episode, and my priority really is to try to lower this deficit. Or lower the... Increase the excess by lowering the debt, uh, and therefore um, lowering my debt reimbursement payments. But we did increase the debt a little bit here with some of the spending. I think that's going to be it for now. I'm probably going to put an end to the episode. Thank you for watching. Uh, next episode, we're going to be our troops are positioning. And we're going to start to uh, look into what we can do uh, 
uh, with Sri Lanka. Our satellite is now positioned over Sri Lanka. Bargain concluded with Maldives Minister of Agriculture the and Nepal political party E2 conformist like right. E2 and E2 doesn't like uh, I don't think I need that, E1 right? Because E3 Nepal be is has allowed us to see good. this group. So I'm going to say no. No, no. Oh, Nepal was not good. Bhutan was good. That stupid screen. I couldn't move it. All right, that's the end of this episode. Sorry, I didn't take too long there. Sorry, I took too long. Uh, talking. What is that? Why is that still there? Jeez. All right. Panama. Sure. I like to have good relations with Panama. They have the canal. All right, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, feel free to like, comment down below, like the video if you did. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more and you haven't done so already. Also, Patreon supporters will get early access to videos. So if you want to support me on Patreon for as low as $1 a month, link in the description will take you there and you can get access to these videos as soon as they are uh, online or on YouTube. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I will see you in the next episode.